Hey guys, welcome. Filming in 1080. This is Linux Mint 22 Cinnamon. A subscription key is in the corner, 460 videos and growing. Today I'm going to give you an overview of only Office and I'll make some comparisons to LibreOffice 24. Linux Mint 22 Cinnamon comes with LibreOffice 24. Linux Mint 21.3 has a lower version. I think it's 7.3 or 7.5. I want to make some comparison between only Office and Libre. So I'm going to give you a, uh, like a mini overview with some tips. And uh, some of them are also not the most positive ones either. Because I'll tell you one of the experience I had with labels. Filming in 1080, welcome. So let's open this thing up. And then I'll talk about where you can get this. All right, so um, you're normally presented with a blank box on this side with uh, Create New, Document, Spreadsheet, Presentation, PDF Forms. And then I'm gonna jump on over to Templates. These are just thumbnails. And we have multiple languages of these thumbnails and you can also do category searches. And you can see that uh, we have all kinds of different type of templates. Um, bill of lading, bingo, birthday cards, business cards, and even calendars. So I'm going to stop here for a second. So I decided I have some extra Avery labels that I needed to have, um, well, printing addresses on. So I started to look for a template in here for labels. Didn't find any. So I went on to Avery's website and downloaded a template and brought it into OnlyOffice. I found it very cumbersome to use compared to LibreOffice 24. So LibreOffice 24 did a much better job handling those labels. Again, there was no template for labels that I could find in here. But there are plenty of other type of, well, templates in here. And of course you can create your own. All right, so I'm gonna also open up this document. This was uh, created actually with Libre, saved in ODT. And uh, I'll give you some tips while using this interface as uh, in case you decide to download and try it out for yourself. Uh, first of all, double click, double click, or use the old fashioned tiny button. If you want the text bigger on the screen, again, I'm filming in 1080. Hold down your control key. If you do have a computer mouse with a scroll wheel, hold down your control key and scroll up. And this part works the same in LibreOffice, except Libre just has squiggly red lines. This one has a solid red line. Right click, same thing, spell checker. I'm gonna replace that howdy to hello with a thesaurus. So highlight the word, plugins, thesaurus, hello. It's been replaced already and I'll even capitalize it. Very simple bottom line also. Again, the zoom factor you can also click on if you don't want to use my little tip. So let's walk over to here. Uh, the icons above here is a save, print, quick print, and then you've got uh, undo, redo, that kind of stuff, and quick customize toolbar. So. The Save As feature, I will also show you this on LibreOffice in a couple of minutes. These are the file formats. Not the same as LibreOffice also, as an FYI. All right, so walking across the screen, your fonts are over here, and you do not get previews. I do have some uh, different videos if you want to remove Noto fonts. Um, if you're not using them, but in either case, I'm just giving you an example of this part of it. So generally, uh, I think most people can figure out what most of these things are if they've ever used a work processor. Film ag filming again in 1080, you can always pause this video also and back it up because I'm going to go through these fairly quickly. Just letting you see some of the tools and plugins. Okay. No, LibreOffice. So LibreOffice, same document. Uh, you can now see that's a squiggly, same deal, right click, spell checker. And uh, fonts, you now have some samples of some of them. Got a whole bunch of those Noto fonts. 
All right, the Save As feature, just give you the examples of what kind of formatting it can save. And you can see all the different kinds. So one of the things that I did not see with OnlyOffice is the Word 2010-365. Although that may have been an oversight on my part, but you can see that uh, this list looks a little bit longer than the OnlyOffice. All right, LibreOffice 24. Again, if you're on Linux Mint 21.3, that version, I believe it's either um, 7.3 or 7.5. So where do you get this? Well, can I use Synaptic? No, because this software is only available as Flatpak software. All right, you remember, um, well, if you haven't seen any of my videos, I made mention of this. Show unverified Flatpaks is off. In other words, it's not recommended to show unverified flat pack, and that's default. So I'm going to type in only, and you should be able to find this. Now, some people do not know what flat pack software is. All right, if you want, I'll make this a little bit larger. I can also double click to go full screen, that's up to you. Uh, but flat pack, flat hub, flat hub is where the stuff comes from, and uh, multiple Linux distributions use that site. So the developers of these things um, throw, if you want to call it, in, they, they throw the software into a container. When you download it, it downloads like a container and it's usually large in a lot of cases and it takes up a lot of disk space because this kind of software runs, if you want to call it, in a sandboxed environment, isolated from your system. And it normally doesn't need much from your system. That's why um, people that um, upload software to FlatHub when other Linux distributions can use it. That way they can only do one version or do one version and many distributions download that. For the benefit for the user, a lot of them like the containerized and uh, some of them uh, has to do with version numbers also. All right, so I believe Libre is also available as Flatpak. Let me just look that up for you. Uh, I'll have to look at the whole suite if I look at it. System package or flat hub. So yes, that does come in two different flavors. One of them is 257 megabytes. The flat hub version is uh, when you get all said and done is 4.3 gigabytes. Yeah, roughly. Let's go back to that one. Um, I'm sorry, not open, only. I don't know where I got open at. Oh, open only. How's that? All right. I'm just going to give you a couple screenshots. Uh, these will be not the sharpest. Uh, again, I'm filming in 1080. So just to let you see what these look like. Not advocating you replace Libre, not at all. I'm just showing you what this thing is if you want to give it a test drive. So uh, the negative that I have with it was it did not find me any templates for my labels. Uh, but again, I would use Libre if I was going to do that. The reviews look fairly favorable. And there's like a tell in here. And um, you can certainly download that and give it a test drive yourself and make up your own opinion. Thank you for watching.